Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to set up an Eterno server and join it to play multiplayer. Let's get started. Go to Eternos.org, click play, and create an account. I suggest using Google for faster setup. Once logged in, click create server, choose Java edition and hit create. Your server is ready, but we need to adjust a few settings. Next, make sure your server version matches your game version. To check, open T-Launcher and look for the blue TL icon next to the version number. For example, if you're on version 1.211, select that for your server. Don't skip this step. If the versions don't match, you'll end up staring at error messages instead of playing. Now, let's choose the right server software. Under the server software section, pick Fabric. Why? Because we're fancy, and also because we'll need it for mods in the future. Go to the Options tab and turn Cracked Mode to True. This is important if you're using T-Launcher, and it lets anyone join without a paid Minecraft account. You can tweak other settings like Game Mode, Difficulty, or even activate Cheats if you're feeling sneaky. Just don't forget to enable Cracked Mode. Without it, your friends won't be able to join, and you'll be playing alone like it's 2012 all over again. Now it's time to start your server. Copy the server address first, then hit Start Server. Heads up, it might take a while to queue, especially if Eternos is busy. Here's a pro tip. Try starting the server at odd hours, early mornings or late nights. You'll beat the crowd and avoid the frustration of watching that progress bar crawl like it's in slow motion. Once the server starts, confirm and let it load. The first startup takes longer, because it's generating the world, so grab a drink or do some stretches. Your server will be ready soon. Finally, open Minecraft and go to Multiplayer. Click Add Server, paste the server address you copied earlier and hit OK. Select the server, click Join, and boom, you're in. Now you can invite your friends and start playing together. Just remember, the chunks will take some time to load the first time around, so don't freak out if things look a little empty at first. And there you have it. Your very own Eterno server is up and running. If this guide helped, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you have questions or want more tutorials. Now go out there and have fun, but maybe don't burn your friend's house down. Or do. I'm not judging. Catch you in the next one.